Once more, we have a riverine flood alert in effect from the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service. It's now at an orange level, which means there's a high risk. And for Trinidad in particular, that's where the flood alert is in effect. River levels are near threshold along the Carony River Basin. There has been a minor flooding elsewhere. And unfortunately, with the rising river levels, they could worsen during the high tide. The adverse weather alert continues at least until Thursday, 8 p.m. So it should end. We'll continue to see a few gusty winds and possible of landslides or landslips, especially down towards those at southern areas. So at an orange river level, orange risk level, it means that there's a high risk as we go through the next few days. So be mindful about that, especially if you live in those flood prone areas. Definitely be prepared for any sort of action that you may need to take. In terms of the rainfall, we've had a quite substantial rainfall, at least for Thursday, across our PR code, 68 millimetres. And in Tobago, the wettest day was on Wednesday, but obviously they saw a lot of overnight rain as well. So what does this mean for the month so far in the Tobago? 110 millimetres. The average is just 218, so just about halfway through in terms of the usual amount of rainfall expected for Tobago. But remember, November is usually their wettest month usually. And for Piarco, we'll continue to see about 123 millimetres. The average is 242. And we're in the second peak of the wet season for Trinidad. So definitely, as you go through the next uh, few days, watching for the development of any sort of cloudiness. But there is some good news on the horizon in that there will be some gradual improving of the skies. Looking for drier weather, especially from Tobago, and then eventually pushing towards the south. Still a few showers that could turn thundery around southern areas of Tobago through Saturday, but generally we should be seeing some improvement towards the weekend. So for Tobago, this occasional showers are likely under partly cloudy skies. Through your morning, you will likely see a lot more sunshine as well beginning to push through, especially from the north. It could also turn hazy at times with only a brisk, brisk, brisk shower as you go through your Friday afternoon. Now for Trinidad, the southern areas especially, be mindful that you could continue to see a few showers that could turn heavy and a thundery along the south coast through Pinal as well. Out towards the north, general cloudiness will greet you a few early morning showers and then partly cloudy skies expected through your morning and afternoon with the Saskatchewan showers popping up from time to time during the daytime heating. But for southern areas, they will continue to be wet and damp through San Fernando into Carcass and into Maruga as well. So be mindful of possibility of gusty winds in some of those showers as well as that uh, riverine flood alert which is in effect along the Carony River Basin for many rivers in Trinidad. By night, 24 degrees Celsius by day, a comfortable 31 is likely. On a Saturday, we get a lot more sunshine. For Trinidad, there's a low chance of a thunder shower. Then on Sunday and Monday, the cloudiness will increase once more and we'll likely see a few more showers coming through to start the new working week. Tobago will enjoy the best of the sunshine on Saturday and then day two will join Trinidad under general cloudiness from Sunday. Heading offshore, if you are a boater or a sea bather, be mindful of the hazardous seas alert, which will remain in effect until Saturday, 2 p.m. Strong low-level winds, some dangerous currents, and some large waves as well. Three meters likely in the Caribbean, possibly 3.5 out in the Atlantic, and uh, east northeast these swells continuing at nine seconds for boaters. Now, for the Caribbean, they have been looking at the possibility of a lot more clear skies as they go through the next uh, few days. In fact, there's only that uh, little area of a low pressure just around the Dominican Republic and Haiti. It's part of a trough system, continuing to bring lots of cloudiness here. There is a tropical wave just south of uh, Jamaica, but elsewhere it is mostly settled. So, thunderclouds for Santo Domingo and uh, Port au Prince. Meanwhile, towards the Lesser Antilles, sunshine will be coming through for the Leeward Islands. Also, a bit of haze as well into Saint Lucia and into Barbados and then further south into Georgetown, damp and cloudy with a high of only 31 degrees Celsius. But for us, the full alert remains in effect with hazardous seas as well. Breezy with some showers, but only the straight thunder shower expected for southern Trinidad. So that's your weather and that's it from me.